coming right there. All right, what's up everybody? We have another YouTube video to show you, but this time it's gonna be a little different. We're not doing shooting, even though we're on the tactical rifleman range here. Uh, what we're doing is we have our good friend Annalise, uh, also known as Kentucky Fried Korean. Um, Annalise came up with a question about women's self-defense in terms of uh, countering a kidnap. You know, I'm walking down, what was it? I'm, I'm in a parking Walmart lot. parking lot. Somebody comes up, tries to, you know, steal me, whatever. Um, so we're going to get that answered right after a word from this week's sponsor. Hey right, guys, everybody loves social media, right? Well, Arms Directory, it is the only two-way protected social network and marketplace. Feel free to post all your favorite gun pictures, talk prices, find local events, and post videos of your favorite upgrades all in one place. Armsdirectory.com. And we're back. All right, so we are dealing with uh, the taken scenario of you're walking around in the shopping mall uh, parking lot and your head's buried in your phone and you don't notice anything and then some weird redneck comes up and tries to take you away. We have a weird redneck for you. I promise we'll bring that sort of human in in just a bit. But, um, so you brought this up in terms of, you know, somebody comes up from behind me, somebody comes up from in front of me. The first point I want to make, and the reason I made that joke about your head being phoned in the, uh, buried in the phone, is the most important thing you can do in your whole life is turn that phone off. Put it in your pocket, get to where you need to get to, and then read your message from your boyfriend, okay? Um, so that's number one, right? Don't walk and be on your cell phone. Please, 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 please. Um, and unless you're watching this video on your phone, that's okay, all right? So that's number one. Number two, keep your head on a swivel. You don't have to look like a paranoid freak walking around like this all day, but situational awareness, when people ask, hey, teach me situational awareness class, it's like, cool. Put your phone in your pocket and start looking at your environment, right? It's really that simple, guys, because if you can look around, then you're gonna see so many other things that give you markers of, hey, I really don't wanna be here right now, right? Mm -hmm. All right. The third thing is, if and when you spot something you don't like, beat feet, right? Be loud and get the hell out of there, right? Then you can have your cell phone out. I don't want your face in it, but have your cell phone out, prep somebody's phone number that you wanna call, like, oh, I don't know, 911. Um, or Carl or I, if we're in the area, we'll take care of it for you, I promise. We're gonna get to actually doing a couple of maneuvers and hurting our, uh, our redneck. I can't even look at this guy. Um, so don't look, don't look, it's bad for you. All right, so here's where we're gonna start. Sometimes, even if you pay attention, even if your head's not in the phone, you miss things and somebody may have planned well or whatever, it's dark, yada, yada. Um, so it may be too late, and we're gonna work some stuff that works a lot of the time. Uh, every person is different physically, every person is different mentally, and there's many different options you can do. We're gonna stick with one today that I think would be appropriate for you. We're kinda gonna go worst case scenario, which means he's gonna, he's gonna go for throat. He's not just gonna grab shirt, right? Because we don't wanna ruin our beautiful tactical rifleman shirt. Um, so we're gonna start from there and you're gonna hurt him, and we're gonna see what it feels like. All right, so okay. let's bring in Mr. Trailer. <laughs> Is this guy for real? <laughs> so we've... <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we brought in Samson. Samson here is uh, Samson Jones, and what he's gonna do is he's actually gonna uh, grab Annalise here by the throat, okay, with two hands, uh, we're gonna do it kind of gently first, but then he's gonna actually full on choke her. And let me tell you, he's, he's got uh, strong hands. I'm trying to hold back all my actual ways of saying this. All right, so Annalise, what you're gonna do here, the first thing, he's probably gonna be pushing you or pulling you, okay? It's not typically standing. You don't need to push yet. Um, just, just Samson over here, all right? So what you're gonna do first your first reaction, I want your hands to come up and grab his hands, right? Just hold on and hold on for dear life and you're gonna lean back a little bit because he's gonna be pushing you. As you lean back, I want you to just kick him in the balls. 
Okay, that's wow, she actually got him. All right, so that's going to have that's going to have a effect on him. It's, it doesn't mean the fight's over, but what's going to happen? You have this nice, nice. V shape here that's just going to guide your foot right to where it needs to be. I don't want you to kick with your foot. I want you to kick with your shin. Okay, so practice it nice and slow. He doesn't need to have any more kids, but we need him for the rest of the day. All right, so disengage a second. Now what I want to have happen is as soon as his hands touch your neck, I want your hands on his hands, lean back and drive that leg up. All right, go ahead. Yeah, you see, this is already having the correct effect. All right, now how about let's actually do it a little faster. Okay. Right, you don't have to actually connect, but I want those motions to be quick. Go ahead. There you go. If you get a foot in there or a shin, awesome. If it's really close and his elbows are bent, you get a knee up in there, that works well too, okay? So that's part one. Okay, then what I want you to do and this is another option, you guys can mix and match them, all right? And you, what you'll notice, if you haven't already noticed, then you have a problem, is that Annalise is a lot shorter than Sue, okay? Um, <laughs> I can't even look. <laughs> so Annalise is a lot shorter than Sue, right? And we're gonna have a reach problem. She can't, go ahead and, and grab her by the throat a minute. With both hands, please. Good. Okay, Annalise, punch him in the face. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work, right? But what can work is if Annalise kind of sends one shoulder forward a little bit, and this hand is gonna go up, okay, in between his arms, she can reach his throat. And what she's reaching for there is if you look, if you close up on my neck here, okay, your two clavicles, your collarbones come to an end right here, okay? And there's a little divot right in between them that's soft. It's very soft right on top of the breastplate. And I like to call it the doorbell. The reason is what Annalise is gonna do is she's gonna push that doorbell, however, as opposed to a real doorbell where you just push it, she is gonna push her finger as hard as she can forward and then down behind that clavicle or behind that sternum. The effect that's gonna have um, is kind of a gag reflex on uh, Mr. Samson here, and nine times out of 10, he's gonna release. In conjunction with that, right when you're done with that, you're gonna kick him in the balls again, all right? So get your hand down, okay? And you're gonna apply this time, what I want you to do is I want you to actually choke. I want you to choke, choke, okay? Make her feel uncomfortable. Guys, don't try this with people you don't know or you're not comfortable with, okay? We're all family here, so we're good. I want you to actually choke. Annalise, I want you to actually push that doorbell in and down as hard as you can, okay. as hard as, and, and as fast as you can. If you can get fingernail in there, girls with big long fingernails, awesome, awesome, okay? Go ahead. Kick too. She can do whatever she wants. I just wanna see if the doorbell makes you release. I don't want you to let go. Do not let go, go ahead. I'm, I'm don't let go. The pain. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Yeah, you're oh. you're good. Go, go. <laughs> Are you okay? Good thing you stopped me when you did. I was gonna kill her. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you this, Sue. Um, how did that doorbell feel to you? Because it hurt. Hurt. it hurt. Did it make you relax your grip at all? Pretty much, yeah. Did it? Because you kept your hands on her, right? Did did his grip actually relax? It did. I asked Sue to actually not let go. He did a good job of keeping his hands there. But you see, even <laughs> even a big <laughs> like this, I mean, it's going to have an effect, right? So, Sue, were you grabbing her neck as hard as you could? No, that's what I want you to do this time. I want you to actually apply pressure on that windpipe, okay? Um, Annalise, if your hand goes down to me, that's a sign that you need out and we're just gonna cut, okay? okay? Just for safety, mm -hmm. right? So nobody gets hurt. I want you to actually go full force, okay? Full force? Go full force, she's gonna get out of it. 
I also want you to keep your knees together, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. All right, you ready? Shooter ready. Stand by. Choke. Harder, 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 harder. Oh, you see? Good job. <laughs> All right. Now look, the desired effect that we want is not what happened here. This is a learning curve, right? The desired effect is we want immediate response. Immediate, right? Annalise, you didn't do anything wrong. What we have to do is, is we have to practice, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable in a training setting with somebody we actually like for some reason. Um, it's uncomfortable to actually hurt somebody, right? So driving that finger all the way in, I'm not going to do it. <coughs> driving that finger all the way into there, right? I want, it to, I want you to think of putting your finger all the way to his spine and then go down, okay? That's one. It had the okay effect. Now, in reality, if you've just watched this video but you never really practiced it, okay? If you do this and what happened here happens there where it doesn't get released immediately, right? You just get a little bit of a relaxation, right? A little bit of that reaction and then you go full force kick and then you turn and burn, okay? All right, so we're not gonna abuse Sue anymore in uh, the front like this. Now we're gonna move to uh, what happens when they come up from behind you. Before that, we're gonna make YouTube, make you watch a commercial, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Hopefully you hated that commercial just like we do. Uh, so, I know I'm not supposed to say that, I get it. All right. Here's where we're going to now. Annalise is walking down a dark path, trying to get her evening hike in, and Mr. Samson here runs up from behind her. She didn't notice because she's got her earbuds in, and which you shouldn't do. And, uh, and he's gonna bear hug her and try to put her in his unmarked van, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks, okay? All simple, there's no kung fu here, and we're gonna see if uh, we're, you're gonna do it a few times kind of slowly, and then we're gonna try to have Sue not let you go, okay, and see what happens. <coughs> and at least you're not going full force, okay. okay? Here's what happens. So if Sue were to try to kidnap her, right, and we were talking about this before, this is how Sue was actually trying to kidnap her, so this is what we're going for. Your first instinct is going to be to put your hands on his hands, right? So do that. But you see what you did now is very gentle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so relax your hands. What I want you to do is to do it very aggressively. And while you do that aggressively, you're actually gonna be raising your shoulders and your elbows a little bit. And that's gonna give you a little room here. Sue, hold on pretty tight. Okay, go ahead. Already, this is good. But now Annalise has moved her pelvis back. That's actually not helping us unless we do judo. So what you're gonna do is, let me show it a second. Sue, go ahead and grab me a second. All right, so as we do it, <laughs> thank you. As we do this, instead of dropping like this, which actually all he needs to do right now is put his weight on me and I fall to the ground with him on top of me, not where I wanna be, all right? I'm gonna lean back into him. Sue already knows what I'm gonna do, so he's got his head hidden, all right? As I do this, I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna headbutt him with the back of my head, okay? So you see how his arm slipped up? I'm still holding on, and I have pretend headed, headbutted him. Hopefully you get the nose, okay? That's gonna make his center of gravity go backwards, okay? And then all you're gonna do, I've developed, because I'm leaning back into him, I've developed a little bit of space here between us. I'm gonna take one foot. I can either stomp on him, right, and scrape that shin, or if you're strong enough and fast enough, I'm gonna take one foot, in my case, the right foot, and I'm gonna swing it back behind me and spin right out of this. I'll take my hat off. Okay, I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm just going to spin right out of it. If I'm really good, I can actually get a wrestling move or whatever in, but that's not what I need you to do. I need you to get out of there, kick him in the side of the leg, and beat feet. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Sue, I want you to hold on pretty good. Right? Medium speed. Slow speed, but I want you to hold on. Bucky. Yes. Go. Fast headbutt. 
You need to develop space. Okay. You didn't lean back, right? Okay. You yep. can either lean back, bend your knees a little bit, or you can move your feet forward if you need to while you're headbutting. Okay. By the way, guys, the fact that I'm saying hit him with your head doesn't mean you have to hit him once. Mm -hmm. Okay? Dig those nails into his hands. Don't let go. Lean back, raise it, and then get out of there. Okay, go ahead. And spin, 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 spin. Get my car. All right, all right. Let's refine this. Let's okay. make this work. Let's make this work. Okay. All right. One of the things about a foot stomp, a foot stomp's not going to kill anybody, right? But feet are designed to take weight from the bottom, not from the top. What do you think is going to happen if you slam your heel into his foot? That foot moves back. When that foot moves back, that gives you the distance between you guys, the space. Let's do this sideways. Let's have you guys standing sideways. Okay. I want you guys to see the space we're developing. You want space between you on your lower body from here down. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Go fast. I want you to lean back, not forward. Lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. There you go. There you go. Now that kick, that kick, that last kick, guys, it's not here, right? That's not going to have any permanent effect on him. Knees only bend one way, and if I kick this knee from the side, okay, that's not the way knees are designed to be bent, that will give you the space to take off running, okay? Let's try it again. This time I want you to be aggressive. Okay. It's very counterintuitive to lean back, okay? I want you to lean back. What happens if he lets go and you fall down? That means he's let you go. Get up and run, okay? Go ahead. Headbutt, lean back, good, and get out of there. Sue, are you holding on tight? Yeah. Sue's actually holding on tight. And guys, he's strong, he's strong, all right? The only other two things that we will start training, we don't need to train this on video, but you guys will get it. Go ahead and grab me a second, Sue. All right, so you grab and lean back, you see that? I've developed a little bit of space here. Headbutt, that should make his head move back or down, okay? Either way, he's trying to avoid that. I can keep hitting, I can kick, right? You see the gap it's developed, and I swim out. Cool? Mm -hmm. So those are our two little tricks for today. Hope this is helpful for you guys. Uh, listen, you don't learn by just watching. Watch, then find somebody to practice with. Cool? Annalise, you feel like that might be helpful once we start working on this? I think so. Cool, does this answer your question? It does. I'm actually a nice guy. Sorry. We love Sue. We love Sue. <coughs> I need to All go right. get some ice. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Come back next week. We'll have something else cool for you. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.